Hey everybody, welcome back to Wargroove. Last time we finally got revenge on those friggin' outlaws right here and now we can head to the main mission with a clear conscience, I think. Dang, Caesar's mission is really tough. A port in peril. Mercy and the others arrived to meet their fleet only to find the port overrun. Like, we can never catch a quiet moment, man. Skeleton? No, I can already see there's something going on here. Ah, this must be Hilotl, Hilotl. I still don't know what to how to pronounce that race's name. The town is overrun. I guess they just call them Merfolk. That works too. It's way more pronounceable. It just goes. <laughs> plip, 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 plip. Um. You said the port is being sacked. You speak Merfolk, Emmerich? I didn't know you spoke Mermish. Okay, well, then what does this guy say? Do you also speak uh, Daddish? Put down your weapons and leave this town alone. Uh, Emmerich? Sorry, Mermish only. I don't speak skeleton. <laughs> Dude, they're, they're on to me here. I'm guessing he's not saying we surrender. Blip blip. What happens yeah. now? Now we fight. Okay. You heard the lady. Now we fight. I like that we're starting with like two dragons here. And there aren't any commanders here, just undead soldiers running amok. We need to liberate the town and take control of the port. The Emberwing dragons can help. We need to cut off the enemy's reinforcements. Neutralize the enemy barracks and tower to reclaim the port. So this one and this one, okay. So they have a ballista here, so we cannot just fly in with the dragons, sadly. And they have a ballista here as well. I see they are limiting us. Um, okay. We got one village there. What about those guys? Like, what, what faction do you belong to? Are you, like, neutral or something? I guess. So... I was like, can you march in and attack those guys? It doesn't seem like you have a direct route, but can I come here with the dragons and attack you? Like, do I have to fear anything from you? Is what I'm trying to say here. How do we proceed? So we have to go here and come in either via here or via here. We look at this, the enemy barracks and tower to reclaim the port. So this, this and this one, I suppose. And there's also barracks here. This could be very interesting. I like it. There's no enemy commander, which is a little bit strange. There might be... There's also barracks down here. There might be reinforcements coming. Would be interesting to fly the dragons around and attack in here. Is that possible? I guess so. We just have to watch out for the, for the killers here, man. Okay, who can go where? Uh, is there anybody who... Can I guess you just want to go there? Mercy, I could also take this. Then you could move one more. Your movement is so bad, so I would rather have you move. Yeah, I see, and then Mercia. Let's capture this for now. I'm going in. Thank you. Feeling a bit weird today. To, like today it's like 38 degrees Celsius here. I feel like my brain is being like smoked basically inside of my skull so pardon me if i make any tactical mistakes here got a glass of water i got even a, the rare can of monster energy standing on my desk right now let's hope that helps okay just get this one so i wonder why they actually gave alchemists to us here it's an odd choice i guess they have one tower maybe it's to protect my dragons see this thing is probably gonna move this turn let's bring the dragons in i suppose i think we could use those those mountains on the right as cover to fly in totally forgot to look at those guys's income so what we need to do here if possible like, of course, we need to take this stuff, but we need to destroy the Ballista with an income of 800. It's actually not that high. They went with producing a Harpy here and producing a Doggo there. 
Yeah, the harpy. Now I see why you, what you're doing here, man. This is why they gave me the, uh, the alchemists here, yeah? the mages. Yeah, you just wait there. What is your range? Not terribly good, to be honest. I can't reach you guys here. Can you burn this thing down in one go? You can't quite. I don't know if I want to take the damage on you, but you can come in here and thrash them a little bit at least and also stop them here, I suppose. I don't know whether that's worth it right now, but uh, I'll take it into consideration for sure. You can move one, two, three, so this is as far as you can move. Fantastic, just move there. And you go here and just capture this. We need the money. More money, more power, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, Mercia, you just come here. So if I attack this, maybe it's a better idea to attack it with Mercia first and then go in with a dragon. But you sadly can't get anywhere to attack those fools. But you can. And it doesn't seem like they have anyone else who can reach me. No, it doesn't, really doesn't seem like it. So either I go for the dog or I go for the Skeleman. I think going for the dog first is probably a good idea. I think they just, they're just getting more out of a dog than they're getting out of a singular dread sword here. Now I can attack this. Do I want to attack this for 65 to 75? Probably not. Let's get in somewhere close. So we can potentially wreak even more havoc next turn. And then we have 300. Now this is the big question, right? What do we even want against those guys? Do we just go and start pumping out the puppies right away? Our income is 300. Um. Now the dragons can move rather far. If I can get rid of this harpy, that would be fantastic. And then just fly around and attack the archer, fly around here. Do a lot of lot of destruction, man. Yeah, I think we just go for a pup right now. Just get another body in there. Save up some money. Okay, there is a harpy coming. Now they I deliberately put the dragon here so they can't advance through this, you know. This is also a cool thing about air units. They still occupy this, so they can't really get to us. Ah, so this harpy threatens both of my dragons here. The thing, however, is that this knight is not protected as far as I can see, so I should be able to just fly around that knight and attack it. This harpy, we can't attack the harpy right here. Okay, that's what I thought. Ah, but... So you have this, and you have this. So... I'm pretty sure I can just come here... And still wreck the knight thoroughly. Getting, getting this much damage on a knight is very nice here. Uh, we have to consider that the harpy also crits when she's over a mountain, right? Or the vampire, I guess, or the flyer, or whatever you want to call it. We'll just keep calling them harpies from now on, probably. Um. Just trying to suss out what I can do here. The harpy, we need to get our mages close in here, of course. One, two, three, four, five. So you could also only stand there. Mercia, just come somewhere in close. Let's bring the pikemen in here. As close as possible at least. And then the doggo is from there. Then maybe get another doggo. There we go. And then let's see. I have to move this dragon. Sadly, I can't attack the knight again. So I will move this dragon... Maybe just up. 
just wait for now. Okay, Harpy coming in. And oh, oh, ho, ho. I didn't even see this. Where did this guy come from? Okay. It must have like produced it last turn. Okay, this is a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy can totally fly in and like destroy everything that is dear to us. Ah. Uh, hmm. I think the dragon should actually retreat now. Fantastic. Um, maybe not entirely. But I also need to get to this harpy down there. So, let us move Mercia there into the forest and attack this. They will only do 7 to... Uh, 11 damage loss. Which is good. And then let's have a look at this flying dude. Can't quite get to me up here, I see. So I will attack this village from the back here, maybe. Got him. Okay, and here... Strang also has to move. Could move him over to the side. The thing is that they can then just follow and we don't have anyone protecting us whatsoever. Uh, let us move an alchemist in here somewhere. That seems pretty smart to me. She can just come here and totally attack pretty much all of our units, which is very scary. This is a weird clash right here. Yeah, let's bring the alchemist in here and just capture this for now. Okay. Now this harpy is gonna be devastating if we stand anywhere next to a mountain. Oh, this, this guy is not in good position. But he is an alchemist. What do I do with you? You can move one, two, three. You can stand on the bridge. You can come around and attack the alchemist here. Maybe I will put the dog here as a kind of shield. I also don't really like standing next to that mountain. Hmm. Could come in with the dog like this. She's blocking me here now. Sadly can't reach with this alchemist. Uh, maybe I want to... Let's see where this guy can move actually. Mm, let's bring this dragon over to the left I suppose. Let's see, you can move here. Can you move into this forest? You can reach that forest. Uh, so I should move this dog first. Just to wait there. And then this alchemist. This is the problem, right? They will be able to attack us here. Let's make this alchemist wait in the forest. And then have this guy go here. And sadly, he can't really join his brother there. If I put you here, the problem is that you will lose defense. And I don't really like that, so let's do it like this and then throw the dog in close here. And then we look at this one. The dragon can fly above this forest. Okay. So we, we, this is a little bit like playing chess, right? We want to prevent those guys from totally wrecking our dragons. So we want to cover them with our alchemists. Now, whom would we like to have on our side here? Maybe we actually get a ranger. How about that? Okay, she's attacking the pikeman here. It's not enough to completely take him out yet. You're coming for that alchemist? Hmm. It's pretty grim here, man. It's 
I didn't expect us to break out into a skirmish of this proportion straight away. Yeah, there comes the dog. May I really should have moved the dog. I was, but I was kind of afraid that then the dog would get beaten by the harpy and then they come in. But turns out like it doesn't really make a difference, I guess. Okay, now we're down to one alchemist, so that is a problem. We need to take out this flyer here. The harpy isn't that much of a problem. This flyer is a problem. So you get this guy to just say goodbye and then we look at what else is going on here. They have a trebuchet. They have this guy right here, which is a headache and a half. Sadly, we don't have a tower, so we can't produce any other flying units. And uh, this guy needs to go, if at all possible. Weird that they don't, didn't move the Belissa, and if I was them, I would move that in and just threaten this entire thing. Um, Now, this dude needs to perish. So does every other unit, I suppose, but so does... This trebuchet, this ballista, and this guy also just spawned. You attack this guy? It's 121 to 130, it's pretty good. Uh, you probably want to come in here. You can't wreck this guy. I think I need to bring him off my dragons here, man. Let's hit them here. The, the harpy will crit me though, this is the bad thing. And they got rid of one of my alchemists. One, two, three, you can't even move into this. Well, if I can, if I can get rid of this guy first, uh, then the harpy could still attack me from the side. They, they have this guy in a perfect position here. What is this threatened radius? Ah, uh, that's pretty good, man. I guess the dragon can fly in here. You can move one, two, three, four, five. If this dragon flies in here, we have this locked down at least. And we can get rid of this dog as well. Let's do that. Okay. So we got that one. Now, we have two little dogs here. We can bring this dog in the mountain and attack this guy. Doesn't strike me as too bad. Then we could double team him with the other dog. Let's do this. We need to reduce their units either way, right? So. This this is again one of those maps where it was like, oh, it doesn't look that crowded and now <laughs> it's like this and you go like, son of a bitch. Okay, and then we just attack here. Got him. So then I fly in with the dragon and attack like this. So this will at least in theory prevent us from that harpy crit. Right, because she can't be over a mountain except they kill the dog and then they come in to uh, claim this spot. Now Ranger and you. I think I'm gonna move... <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is giving out, man, but <laughs> I think I'm gonna move this guy in here in a second. Mercia can also come in, actually. Don't forget her healing aura. It's actually a pretty nice attack. Let's wait in the forest and have this guy wait over here, protect from this side. And then you come here and then, you know what, give me another alchemist. There we go. Meanwhile, I can have a sip of water. Mm -hmm. Coming from Mercia here. Interesting, to say the least. Okay, there's a trebuchet, that one needs to go. <laughs> ASAP. 
needs to be destroyed. Okay, so let's see, they have this guy here. I could come in against this. They have this thing that can hurt me. Still didn't move this, this is very strange. Maybe they are set to just not move this. Can sadly not quite come in here. The Harpy needs to perish. Probably want to move Mercia to do that. Sadly, it doesn't look like we can move her into a good attack position here. Have a look at this again. So I can fly this dragon into the mountain and attack like this. I could also attack this guy from the side here. Could attack the knight. You can actually attack her or this guy or this guy. All nice options, I think. You could just obliterate her, that's very good to see. Now if you come in here, we have a problem because the dragon can't come in because it's just that crowded down here. But you could attack this knight. Okay, hear me out here. This, this might be interesting. Look at this. Okay, so the, firstly this knight just goes, right? It's not that big of a threat. But they could heal it up and it takes up space on the board. Then we could do this and crit that guy. Could even crit him from this side actually. Uh, yes, let's crit him from this side. I know this is in Ballista territory, but I don't actually mind that much. Because dogs are replaceable, but dragons aren't that easily re replaceable, if that makes sense. Mercia, you can attack this from here. But you can't come around yet, sadly. You can come down here. Uh, this is the question, what do we do with Mercia in this little scenario? Now, either of you can take this guy out, which is good. Let's do this. So this guy is gone. Now, of course, this archer is going to be a problem here. Uh, you, Mercia, you can move four. So you can move... I guess you have to move like this. Two, three, four, hmm. So if you... Look at this situation. The dragon has to attack from here to get rid of this. Anything that stands on the road can be highly fried. Okay. Let's look at this range. Don't like the range they have still. Could attack the harpy from here. And this is the bad thing. I have to move you in here. I don't want them to be able to toast me here though. Uh, let's... I think you want to attack either one of them. Who is the larger move? You have the larger move. Okay. So you come here and attack those guys that are in the mountain right now. Ping pong, ping pong, big smacks, and then Mercia could move here. Mercia could stand there. I think I want this pikeman to shield us here. I think I'm just gonna move Mercia to the side one. It's not that good of a turn, admittedly. But then we can nuke her here. Okay, we're slowly establishing us here. It's a lot of threat removal. And then I think, give me another battle pup straight away. Again, the budget is just so nice. So now they have their own little dragon right here. This is something <laughs> we have to be wary of. Wow. Yeah, okay, this guy just crit me. Can't even be mad. Good move.
Okay, interesting that they moved their archer to attack this dragon when they could have just not moved and crit the other guy. Okay, a knight coming in against the pup and the ballista probably shooting the other pup here and that hurts. Or that will hurt. Don't worry too much about it for now. This is a high casualty clash. Oh, actually the pup coming in first. There, there was enough, okay. Okay, they're still not using the ballista. That's very strange. Okay, you can come in against this guy, which I just love actually. Uh, the dragon though. Ah, I see. So they are covering pretty big part of the field here. Okay, what do I do first? Let's have a look at this. Here we can see that this guy is covering a big range as well. Whom do we want to shoot with you? Could shoot this guy and just potentially kill him. Let's try that first. Low health archer. Didn't quite kill him, but did a good amount of damage. For the health, I suppose. Uh, so this, the knight, of course, I always want to get rid of as soon as possible. 75 to 82. Mm -hmm. You can get rid of this guy. Okay, so I think I have want the higher health dragon to attack the knight. That makes sense. And then I will shuffle this dragon around to attack this little guy. So you would think the dog isn't that high of a priority to take out, but you can easily get overwhelmed if you don't focus him early enough, just by virtue of how their crit works. And they have quite a movement, man. Probably my favorite unit in the game, apart from those dragons, they're also really nice. So. You can't shoot here, you can't shoot here, so somebody can move in here and strike, uh, which is great. If we're inclined to do so, which I think we are, this guy needs to also somehow be dealt with, so this guy can then be torn apart. So I think this guy has 20% health, maybe it doesn't do that much in, in the long run. This guy is really dangerous. Hmm. Mercy, yeah. So we got four units that can move still, but you pup, you can't cr really go anywhere crucial. At least not that I can see. Maybe I should have moved this guy. So this guy can be dealt with by you, I'm pretty sure. So I do this. good and here I could take care of this guy and then it still leaves this dude right here he's a 100% health unit which stresses me out a little bit if I may be honest you could take him down could also come in from this side it's the question right who attacks here also have to be mindful of that archer right there. So this guy has to go. I think doing it like this is probably a smarter play. I'm a little doubtful here, but let, let's just see. Got him like this. Oh, we got our healing aura. This one we're gonna need in a second, I think. So then we do 50, 45 to 51, I suppose. Could also attack this guy. So this this dude has to move, and the bat will probably move up to like right here. What does he do in the worst case scenario if I don't attack him? Probably just kill the archer. And uh, this guy 
One, two, three. So I have to... How do I get this dude to somewhere where he can be useful? I think probably just put him here. It's still pretty risky. We're gonna suffer some damage here, I can already see it. We need another alchemist probably. I'm pretty sure they will focus one of them. Okay, so they're going for Mercia here. Which is honestly like as good as a decision as they can make, I think. They are always trying to just win by killing her, I suppose. It is another harpy. Okay, so, but this is actually pretty good for us because this way our honor units won't really take any damage, I suppose. So here comes the bat. We do 80 to 90% against it. Pretty good. And the archer also seems to be attackable from here. What else do you have? Got a ballista down here. Not much else in the way of units. Can I actually go in against the ballista which is very tempting. Then it would also have to move. Uh, here we can even attack it from this side. Okay, yeah, there's something going on here. The healing aura. If you look at you, milady. Let's quickly look at the codex. Do, can we see the area of effect? Uh, you heal, I think it's actually all around you. All surrounding, not only adjacent. I think that makes a big difference because I think adjacent is just like in a cross shape and around you is just, you go whoop de doo you know? <laughs> okay, so we should watch out where we end her turn. So I'm pretty sure the Felber just needs to be attacked. And if possible, you know, right, don't do it from uh, the road because it crits things that are on the road. So I could attack it like this and that'll be it. You can't quite move through there because of this jerk right there. You could move in here. Mercia could attack here. This dragon could attack here, to be honest, or like something like that. Are you covering the ballista? You're not. So attacking the ballista might be a good idea at this point, I think. So you just come here with your 90% health, you give it a good fire breath. Brings it down to like 10%. 8% actually. Okay. So far so good, as they say. Here, we could get rid of this guy. Let's see about that. How much damage will you do, Dogos? That's enough. Nice. So this guy is gone. Now we can actually move through here. This won't quite murder you right now. You're at 13. Okay. Uh, so I guess I have to attack you with him here. Let's go in like that. Alright. Then this dragon... Probably kind in like this. 81 to 87. The Mercia can just sort of come down here and attack. I think that will be all right. So let's just do it like that. Could even ah, okay, yeah. Let's let's just do it like this for now. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like overthinking my strategy, you know, like overthinking. Emphasis on the over part. Uh, then I could come in here and just slay him. Honestly, doesn't seem that bad. I know, I should get that healing aura as, off as soon as possible, so we can get the most out of it. Trust me, I'm aware of it. Um, let's get this guy in here. Would be nice to get the healing aura to heal, like, 
all the guys around us. I don't know whether we can make that happen. Mm, then, now this is interesting. So we have 750 now. Is there anything we desperately need? So we get three alchemists on our side right now. They probably won't last under my command. A little spoiler, but uh, what else do we really need? 750 could actually bring out a knight. They have nice movement at least and can charge, do a lot of damage. Let's do that. I know we have a pup here, but we can still bring out another pup next turn. Might also start thinking about bringing out some wagons here, to be honest. So healing aura seems to be uh, getting more and more important there. Mm, yes, so let's see how much this does. Did like, I don't know, 8% or something. Not that tragic, I think. Okay, so this harpy, of course, also coming for our dragon. Classic. Let's see. Again, the question, who does what? Uh, we don't have a lot of threats nobody can deal with, so... How do we get rid of her? Would actually be nice to somehow get a... Ballista ourselves in here. Maybe take this and then just start producing Ballista from here. How do we get this dragon covered? How do I heal most units? Or the most units? Let's think. Hmm, is there anything the dragon could attack? I guess you could attack the barracks right there. If I move you over here and do this. 58 to 67. Let's try that. Okay, they're at 40% now. This will be interesting. So you see now they're out of that reach at least. Still in that one though. Um, here you attack this. They will do 35 to 45 to you. Probably don't want to attack this with you then. Uh, we could attack this here though. Wait, could, it, could I not attack from here? I can. Okay, for 6 to 8. I think I will actually end up doing this. Just because we can. And then Mercia, you come in here. And it's not the best heal, but it is a heal. Let's do this. I'm here to help. Give him the healing aura. It looks pretty good, man. The healing arm is so strong, actually. Then, move one of our alchemists in here. Don't stand adjacent to a mountain. That is important to remember. Mm. There's this ballista. Probably just want to move you into that middle forest. Got that. Now she might just go for Mercia here, which is honestly okay. We somehow can't really get to that dragon apparently. I could just fly you around and attack this. I could also just go bonkers on this village. Doesn't strike me as too bad. 5 to 15 back to me. It's amazing how like defensive dragons are actually. Could attack this guy with you. Yeah, that seems quite alright, actually. Also come down here with you. Yeah, I probably want to step somewhere in close. So I will do this. Go on the offensive a little bit here. And let's have a look at her move again. Okay, still like this. So let's attack here. Try and get those villages down. Again, not that much damage to us, actually. Then I will bring this alchemist in here. Then this Valiant Knight move up. Pup. Uh, let's have another look at the threatened range here. Guess here is alright. 
And then give me another pup, I think. Perfect. Okay, so this will of course hurt because it's a 100% harpy attacking us here. It's still like, what, 25%, something like that. And this won't hurt that much, thankfully. I almost said hopefully there, but you get me. <laughs> okay, so now she can just be, yeah, she can just be obliterated. That's good. And then here we can somehow deal with this. This thing can go. Nice. Should probably attack it from the side. Is there anything I need to watch out for here? They didn't summon a flyer or anything. We got 50 gold now. They could summon a flyer any time. I'm pretty sure it costs, no, actually it costs 800, right? I always keep making that mistake. Uh, let's attack from this side. Get him out of here. Then... Let us see. You... Have two things you could do. Either capture this or capture... Uh, I mean, you can't really capture this, but <laughs> just destroy it, I suppose. Uh, you are probably on a harpy duty. Let's get rid of that then. I can very much see now why alchemists are so important in this map. Thank you for the clear communication game. Ah, now Mercia can get a little bit of battle experience in here. Fantastic. Take him down. Just a nuisance, but you know, if you don't get rid of them, the chip damage it adds up at some point. Then here, let's capture this. Get us an additional barracks. Feels good. Very nice. Now we can start putting the pressure on through here. Maybe get a wagon going up here soon. TM. Uh, here... You could potentially take it down, I think. No, it's at 32. Okay, you can't. You can charge in against this. You know what? Don't mind if I do. Knock, knock. The knights are here. And they also decided to go with a knight there. Might try and swoop in with the ranks down here. That looks a little bit more achievable than coming in directly because they have this here. So we might just want to move over. This guy's range. Yeah, I'm not really get keen on getting shot with an arrow there. So let's, yeah, let's move somewhere down here. You can move all the way up here, huh? Okay. And you can move not that far. Okay, let's bring this dog in here first. So who takes this? I think you just take this and also take one for the team. Probably coming into the forest is smarter with you then. Again, careful with the dragons, probably want to have an alchemist somewhere close to them. This guy is probably gonna accompany them down there, just in case somebody tries something, you know? And then, so I've, I'm pretty sure you will attack the alchemist here. Mm. Then where do I want my archer to be? Probably somewhere just there. And then you, I will move you into the forest. And I think that's all the units this turn. Then we're gonna produce something up here. Probably a wagon. But for now, guys, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next time, wagon time. And then we'll tighten that iron grip of ours. For now, thank you. Don't forget to like, some, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. It's important, it helps the channel grow, it helps to get our content out there, and it keeps my motivation up. For now, stay safe, I'll be seeing you next time, and bye-bye.